Well, in the wake of recent gun violence and threats being made to schools nationwide, some local schools are now considering new ways of ensuring safety for their students and staff. Our Silver Barker visited Perrysburg schools today to talk with the district, and she joined us live. Silver, what'd you learn? Dan, the district is always having conversations within about how to keep their students and staff feeling safe, but now they're having conversations about considering going beyond just the school walls. Uh, one of the things we're looking at is a mass notification system, what, would, what that would look like, what that would cost. A safety measure Perrysburg Local Schools is considering. Resource Officer Greg Cole says it would be a text the school could send out to first responders, staff, and even parents in the case of an emergency. Upgrading communication is always key because, as you know, when these things happen, everyone wants to know what's happening immediately. How best can we help out with that? But just as much as the schools are responsible for keeping students safe, so are parents, and sometimes that starts with conversations at home. Really identifying some of the concerns or concerning behavior for students is kind of one of the, the bigger things that we hope that parents, guardians, trusted adults kind of, kind of start doing with their family members or just the youth that they have interactions with. Emily Torok, Ohio School Safety Center's executive director, says the signs parents should look for in their students is withdrawal, being behind on schoolwork, mood swings, and any self-harm attempts. Those are things that, you know, there's something out of the ordinary going on for your student, your youth. And those are things that you need to check in with them on, see how things are going, check in with their, their teachers, their educators, their school counselors. According to a report from the U.S. Secret Service and National Threat Assessment Center published in 2023, most mass attacks in public spaces from 2016 to 2020 came from attackers who had already elicited concern in people around them. A statistic Torox says is why it's so important for people to speak up in hopes of preventing any future violence. That's why bystander reporting is so important. Having those anonymous reporting solutions, encouraging a culture of reporting, uh, making sure that students know who to report to, when to report, how to report. Those are all so important for that reason. Now, Torek also says that creating that culture of reporting is one way to keep schools safe and sometimes a bit more efficient than technology such as cell phones in school. Reporting in Perrysburg, Silverbarker, WTOL 11.